The campaign aims to raise awareness about issues surrounding oral health and oral hygiene so that various stakeholders can work together to achieve healthier mouths and happier lives. Dr. Hausiku Elago says residents of Kavango East have reaped the benefits of some of the dentistry-related developments. The installation of the state-of-the-art dental unit and dental x-ray at Rundu Intermediate Hospital Dental Department, which was procured by the Ministry of Health, has greatly improved the horror health care in our community. We have initiated and expanded our outreach services that is aimed to, to bring dental services closer to the people. The health professionals say there has been an overwhelming response from locals all over the region. We are carrying out dental outreach services as part of bringing service closer to the people and we are excited that the response, especially from the remote areas, has been very good to date. As we may be aware, at times economic hardship results in people not able to access healthcare services. But by going to them, they pay zero cent for transport or whatsoever, and they will still receive dental services right where they live. The Deputy Minister of Health and Social Services says oral health is still an area that is often overlooked, making it a silent but significant health burden affecting countless lives. In the African region, more than 480 million people suffer from oral diseases such as dental caries, periodontal disease, and tooth loss. Despite most of this being preventable, we can prevent these diseases. The burden of oral diseases reflects significant inequalities with marginalized populations disproportionately impacted. Unhealthy diets high in sugar, smoking, harmful use of alcohol and poor hygiene are just some of the factors contributing to oral diseases. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Rundu.